I'll try to do a little painting on it. Right now you can see there's green, rust, black. On the other side, there's some white in there. A little green, a little black, a little rust. Under undercoating time. So I'm still trying to figure out what color to go with. I see some white, I see some black, green, some red. This is what it would look like with the clear coat on it. Shiny, protecting that history. Now the front, I've got it mostly undercoated. So it looks like it's gonna be black in the front and maybe clear coat in the back. And when you get to the backpack, someone had stripped that down to the metal. That's gonna be rust shining right through. So kind of a rust, multicolored, and then black in the front. Well, that's how it's looking now. That could change in a few minutes. But do you like that shiny? You like that clear coat? Is that what you want me to go with? Let me know. That's the green. And that would be the clear. Kind of hard to tell. Clear or green. So the other day I saw my truck and I was sharing the battery between the truck and the buggy. And when I sold the truck, the battery went with it, so I needed a new battery. Went down to the junkyard, A, B, and B, picked up a battery, $35. At the store, this would have been, what, 79, 89, 99 bucks plus tax. And the battery is a August 2014. This is February 2015. What is that, six months? And the battery comes with a six month warranty. Also picked up this, uh-oh, oh, uh-oh. Uh More clear coating the floorboards. VWBU6XY or buggy. So I've got this nice heavy duty tow bar I found at a car show. And it's a little much for the Doom buggy, but hey, overkill. Why not? I just need to come up with a couple little brackets, little uh, maybe some angles here and here, something to go across, something to bolt it to. And I've got these little lights off of a Firebird. This is some kind of 80s model Firebird. May have to find somewhere to mount these babies on. Driving at night. And I've also got some nice rusty KC style lights. Hang on just a second. And I've got these. These came with the buggy. These KC style lights. Rusty. Just right to match the buggy. And I believe, I was wondering where to mount them at. I believe there's tabs already welded on waiting for lights right there so I think that's where my lights are gonna go maybe I should do that right now put the lights on see what they look like so these are the headlights that came with the buggy and the hole where you mount them the holes too small so we got to drill that hole a little bit and then we'll put them on there and see what they look like Four dollar drill saves the day. So is that where the headlights want to go? Does that look right? I guess that's where bear and buggies wanted them to go. Yeah, and getting things hooked up and do some night driving. That's gonna be fun. See that? That's U66. That could be my new number. In case you didn't know, we're building a VW buggy here. Or, what just ran me over? It said VW buggy. 
So I was at the flea market the other day and I found this air tank. Nice, round, rusty, just the right size air tank. Thinking that might make a good gas tank. It's got some nice little legs on it. It's a big fat maybe. Okay, so I've spun the tank around and this hole, it goes right out the bottom, straight out the bottom once you get it on the roll bars. It's like whoever made the tank, they knew the angle of my roll bars and they put the hole in the right spot. So here's the tank in place and I've got this old VW filler neck. I think maybe drill a hole in the middle, mount that there. For everybody that voted for stock wheels on my video update number three, out here on the Baja, I have found a stock wheel. There's a stock wheel under there. There's a stock wheel back there. Ooh, and a speedometer and an emblem. Stock wheel number three. We are on a roll here. Make that stock wheel number four. Sunset. And I have found two more stock wheels. There's one. There's number two. And number two has the required right amount of rust. Here's another speedometer option. This one registering 100 with only 56,000 miles. One more time. I've got some leftover caulk. I was in there caulking some trim in the house. I'm going to put this caulk on here. Two jobs. It's going to keep the metal from touching each other. Two different types of metal shouldn't touch. And B, most importantly, rattles. This is going to prevent rattles. Who wants to go down the dirt road and your floorboards are rattling? Not me. And this has been clear coated. I think the theme of this bug is going to be clear coating. So first one in, here comes the next, and there's the next. I'll do these first three first, then we'll jump back there and get those other ones done. And I won't know how to act with somewhere to put my feet while I'm driving. So the front three floorboard pieces are in. Now I've got three more to go. Those back there on the trunk. These three pieces go right down here. Now I'm kind of concerned when you're going down the road on a sunny day, is that not going to blind you? Maybe better keep some sunglasses handy. So I went by the Volkswagen shop today, got some new parts. I got a reservoir, a brake line, and a master cylinder. The grand total was $55.80. As for the discounted price, it was $41.25 plus tax. It was $44.13. That's 11, about $11 savings. That's over $11 savings just for asking. So I got this brake line. I got this little brake fluid reservoir. A little see-through. And I got a new master cylinder. The master cylinder bolts on here. The reservoir bolts right on top of that. Screws right in. And this master cylinder has four holes. One's for your brake light pressure switch. And you've got... I may just loop from here to here with this. And that goes to my back brakes. Or... I've already got the lines. I'll probably just go ahead and hook up the front brakes, see how they work. Kind of tired of riding with no brakes. So I found some new tires on Craigslist, some new to me tires. They're not quite as aggressive as the Super Swampers, but they're newer. They've got uh, less dry rot. Uh, probably won't have to air them up every time you want to ride. But the Super Swamps are 31, these are 32s. I don't think they're going to fit. I think they're going to be too much too tall. I'm still going to try it. You may be seeing these right back on Craigslist. So I think they're going to be too big for my job. Thanks for watching.